Hey, it's your old buddy Microchip here, and I'm playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is Tidewater Point, and this is episode 11. That's right, 11. And we are going to start here with Sean and his beautiful uh, SD80 Mac. <laughs> I'm not real good at identifying the trains yet. I think it's an SD80 Mac. It looks like one. Yeah, it's an SD80 Mac. Uh, Yellow Nose 3. Okay, he just got done doing some work over in uh, River Point, and we are going to back him in now to the station here in Tidewater. Uh, so let's uh, check our switches, make sure he's going the right way. That one's wrong. That leads right into Thomas, who's sitting right there. Uh, that one is wrong. All kinds of wrongness going on here. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. And all the way down here. All right, and that one's going to be wrong, as I knew it would be. Okay, so we're going to go flash back to him, and we are going to give it some gas here, people. Let's do it. Let's back it on up. Oh, I got it on the wrong type of controls, though. Hold on. I don't have it on simple controls. There we go. Whoops, okay, and also, it thinks it's going... There we go. Its directions were messed up because he came uh, he came back long hood forward uh, instead of uh, you know the cab forward. That's okay. A little more juice than that. Across uh, the crossing. Now he's headed on back because we're going to put him back in the uh, back in the shop. I believe I thought forward enough to make sure that I put all of my uh, locals into the left-hand side of the uh, engine shop. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, all of the uh, road trains and uh, other trains. What else do you call road trains? Uh, they're not locals. The non-locals, I don't know. Uh, onto the other track. Let's uh, juice it just a little bit more there. Gonna head him back through Tidewater Yard here. And I've made a command decision, which I know you're all gonna love. And if you don't, then this may not be the channel for you. But the command decision I made was I'm gonna continue with this series. I really like the Tidewater map, but I'm gonna start the CNO Hinton as well. Uh, I've worked that map enough now, I think, that I can get it to work properly the way I want it to work. Uh, and that is a 1940s, 50s uh, map, and it's all steam. So, I mean, I love these diesels, and they're fantastic, but the steam are cool, too. So I want to get some steam action in on you. So I'll probably publish this uh, video either today or tomorrow, which doesn't help you much because you have no idea what day I'm talking about. No idea. Okay, now, hey, Robert, I'm going to shut up for a second because I'm going to see. Yeah. Looks like we're going to put it in, uh, I think it's four, five, or six. Any one of those will be fine. We'll check track four. Okay, now what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so uh, I published one today, and then I'm going to probably record the CNO Hinton uh, Division one as well and get that one uh, put up the following day. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Here he comes. Good old Sean. Going back. He did his job. We'll keep him in there till we need him again. And then Harry, who I keep calling Henry, is already over in... Uh, he's in River Point right now, and then he's setting out some cars for uh, them out there. All right, I may have slowed it down a little bit too much, a little too early, but that's all right. My engineer can drop, jump off. All 
All right. Now, let's take a look inside the engine shed. Okay, now these two I can't use because they don't come all the way through. That's weird. Okay, I could pull them forward, pull them back, but track four should be open, right? Let's take a look. And it is not. All right, track four. I'm using all of these. Those. Uh, who is this? That is Adair. Do I have is Adair on the team? He's not. Well, what are we going to do here? I could move Adair back, put him in track two, and then put all my locals here on track one. Or... Uh, I could come in through the other end. Really don't want to come through the other end. These two tracks are off limits. You know what we're going to do? We're going to open up track one. We're going to get Adair off this track, put him on track two. That's what we're going to do. Okay, Adair, you got to move, pal. You're in the way. Can't be here. And hey, get your little skip horn out of here, Bell. There he goes. We're going to back up 45 or 4845. Wait, this was 4845 too. How could there be two engines that are 4845? I'm disgusted. And I really Let's get a lot down low view here. We'll get him out. We'll just keep track one open from now on in the engine house for locals. That way we can get uh, Sean in there, and he can be worked on, you know, refueled and uh, check out all his gear. See if anything needs to be done. And if not, then we can send him right back out again. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, let's go over here now. We're going to pull up as close as we can to this other engine. Both have the same number. Never seen that happen before in trains, tell the truth. Village is coming up with the same number. Not had that problem. But that's all right. More than likely, these two will be leaving the map. I'll just make sure I don't select both trains. Uh, oh, yeah, turn off his belt. Uh, that way, uh, we won't have that problem. Okay, so now we can put Sean in... Uh, to, uh, the number one slot. Okay, Sean. We're ready for you now, pal. Sorry for the inconvenience. Here he comes. Got a CSX uh, service road here. We're going to give him the CSX honk. Two shorts, a long, and two shorts. I came up with that. I don't know if they really do that or not. But I'm thinking about trademarking it, so please don't use the two shorts along and a short two shorts on your route. Because I'm thinking about trademarking it. I'd really appreciate it if you if you'd lay off. Here's forty five ninety eight. That's not the same number. Not now I'm paranoid about all the numbers. <laughs> it's alright, buddy. It's alright. So it's just numbers. You just can delete the train and put another one on there and it'll come up with a new number. boys inside fair warning here I come all right let's go down to this end now here what I, 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 here we go here he comes right to the end of the platform there That's where we want him here he comes slow him down get that independent break and pow, stop it right there. All right, so that was the exciting moment uh, in Sean's world. Uh, let me pause the video, and I'll figure out what's going next. Okay, this is what I've decided to do now. Now, uh, Thomas has got to work this yard. Now, he does have some incoming coming in here. Uh, remember, we had to reclassify just this short little thing right here. Uh, who's this? This is uh, Andrew. What? What is Andrew doing here? Oh, he's still working the dock over there. <laughs> yeah, 
I forgot about that. Okay, yeah. That's right. All right. So Andrew's still working the dock. These are just the cars he dropped off here. These are the ones that had to be uh, reclassified. Uh, so Thomas could do that. He could re reclassify these and uh, put them on the tracks they need to go on to, uh, you know, and uh, sort them and shun them as he needs to. But we got a bigger problem. You see this? Here's Thomas right here in the uh, SW. Uh, and you can see this big, long thing of cars is past my shunt limit right there that I have to sign I put on there so I know it's time to send it. All of these, if you look at our tagger here, you see they're all supposed to go over in River Point or uh, things that are over on the River Point side. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, ship these all the way over to the other, to the other side. Uh, now to do that... Uh, the only available driver, we don't have any available drivers. Andrew's still working the docks. Uh, he's still working the docks over here. Remember with the big, long coal train here and all that. Uh, Sean just got into the shops and his, uh, his uh, train is being serviced. So we can't use him. Uh, Harry is over in River Point. Uh, or Riverview, is it? <laughs> Something like that. And he's in the other part. Um, and he is uh, setting out cars over there. So we're going to have to bring on a new driver once again with a new engine, a new local. And it's going to be this feller right here, Dave. Yep, Dave is our man. Uh, okay, so Dave is going to pull out. We're going to turn him into a local. So he will stay with us now from here on out. We're going to move him out of the engine shed. Here we go. We'll stop him right there. And the reason I'm going to stop him is because uh, we are going to move this train up. Okay. All right. Now I've determined that we need one engine. That's what we need to pull this load. Now, how how did I determine? That? Well, first of all, uh, we can see here that Dave is inside an SD seventy ace, uh, and the SD seventy ace, according to information I looked up on the internet. How accurate it is, I don't know, but I'm going with it. Uh, it's 4,500 horsepower. So he's got 4,500 horsepower, and if I come over here and I click on this train and I ask, how heavy is it? It is 3,971. So I'm doing one horsepower per ton uh, with the trains. That seems to work best. Uh, so he's got more horsepower than he needs, so that one should be able to... Uh, one engine should be able to do it. So, but we're obviously Thomas is in the way here, so we're gonna have to pull him out of the way. We'll put him on the uh, inbound track just to get him out of the way. Uh, so we're gonna apply the handbrakes. We're gonna decouple. Oh no 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 no! Is he set wrong? He is. Weird that it it did that on that one. I mean, the other ones I can see because I send them to the other side of the map in reverse, so I can see why they then consider that to be the front of the train. That shouldn't have happened here. Yeah, what are you do? Okay, so Thomas is going to pull out here. So Dave can get in there and get that stuff done. newest member to the team. There we go. Let's back him up this way. Just till he clears, uh, I'll make it even like I normally do, even with the frogs. Clears these frogs on this track. I know he's far enough back. Okay, there he is. Now we're going to go over here back to Dave. Uh, I'm lost. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I got slightly lost here, but I figured it out now. Here's here's Dave, our main man, Dave. Uh, and let's... Wait, hold on. Let's uh, make sure these tracks are set correctly. This one is not. It is now. 
this one is. Nope. And yep. And yep. Okay. And then we're going to say that is correct. This is correct. That is not correct. And once he gets down there, we'll have him uh, reverse and go the other way. All right. Let's get him going. SX crossing. Here he goes. The only other train now we have that we haven't used yet is this one right over here. That's get out of the way, tree. That's Duke. He's our go get the empties guy. I know normally uh, when trains work, they'll work a uh, 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 industry. They'll set out the uh, incoming, and they'll take the empties back with them. But that's not how I'm doing on this run. These trains here are my locals are going to be used for delivering and for uh, picking up loads. Duke is my empties guy. He's my empties guy. I can see him sitting in his uh, cab right now going, what guy has two thumbs and picks up the empties? This guy. Yeah, you can't see what I did right there, but I pointed my thumbs towards myself. And because I have two thumbs. You've probably seen that. All right, Navy. Entering the yard. See our tankers being emptied over there. Roll on through. It's like a lot of construction vehicles over there. Nope. The wrong button. Happens a lot. It's like a, a poorly placed uh, point here. It's right on the public road. Here he comes now. Across the road, just enough to piss off a lot of people, you know. I don't see any cars. Cars turned off? I don't know. Ready then? New man, Dave. Here he comes. Very nice. Cleared it. Now, these should all be set on the way back, but let's do our due diligence and make sure, huh? See, no, that one wasn't. See? See? Okay, so he's got to come down. He's got to clear this point right here. That's This is the, the track he's pulling right here, right? His track. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, well, I don't I forget what track this is. This is uh, track one. Track one. Track one.
Tidewater Railroad's kind of cool. I like that sign there. Some extra rails here on the side. Either they've been taken out or being wait to be put in. I don't know. It's not ribbon rail. It's jointed. All right, Dave backs it out here. He's going to go forward and grab onto all these cars that are going to River Point. He'll shoot them over to River Point, and when they get there, Jeff's going to have to cut this train up. That's what's going to have to happen. That's what we're paying him for. Okay. All righty. Now we got to send him over to River Point. Uh, so we are going to go here. You're going to say drive to a track mark, River Point, not inbound, just River Point. There he goes. Uh, he'll drive over there on his own. Isn't that nice? Isn't that special? All right. So he's uh, pulling out. And looks like he's got a good grip on it. I can hear the engine. He's got it probably, what, notch four or five right now. He's gearing up. Well, no problem, though. Okay. All right. Let's make sure the last car is moving. I'm pretty sure it is. I can't see why it wouldn't be. Let's just make sure it is. Last car moving. Last car is moving. Okay. So, uh, that's going to count as Thomas's turn. Thomas works the yard, and he decided to use his turn. His, uh... I don't know. His uh, job was to get rid of uh, the overflow here in the yard, and that's what he's done. So uh, on his on his way. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video, find out what we're doing next. Okay, so what we're gonna do next? We're gonna work uh, River Point uh, Yard, and uh, Jeff is our shunter over near River Point Yard, and he's got a real quick, simple job to do. Now these six right here, these six uh, empty TOFCs, uh, were uh, <clears throat> just recently dropped over here. Uh, and you, you can see where the where the cranes are working over there, uh, and um, I've reclassified them. Now we click on here, we can see two of them are going to the the Tidewater TOFC, which is over there on the dock, and then two of them are going to Tidewater out. Uh, when I put Tidewater out, that means they're going off map to some other town somewhere else. I don't know where. That's not my problem. Okay, and we can't ship them out from here because we have no engines here. We don't have an engine shed here. So anything that has to leave the map, even if it's got to come back this way to get out, uh, we have to uh, first send it to Tidewater. Okay, so we're going to come over here, get Jeff going here. Uh, let's make sure the tracks are set right. He's just going to put it on track six, which is where all, which is right here where these tankers are set. Uh, so that is incorrect. That is now correct. That's yes. Uh, that's a no. Yes, 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 and just to be safe, we'll say that's a yes as well. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get Jeff going here. First, he's got to come over to the inbound track. Got to clear this one right here. Here he comes. And then you just got to grab onto those six TOFCs, flat flat uh, beds there, and shove them onto that track there. Of course, my question is, is there enough room on that track to fit them? A lot of grain cars on there. Well, we'll check that out after we uh, hook up to these TOFCs.
Nope. A little more forward. It's one of those uh, switches that. A lot of room to clear. Here we go. Comes. Slow it down for me. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. Now, let's make sure we're going to put it back on track six here. Track six. Okay, so the, the shunt limits that I put are right here to remind me. Uh, this is a double crossover here. But, oh, yeah. We'll put this this way just to be safe. Yeah, it'll fit up to the gantry there. So, we should be all right. Okay. So let's pull it forward. There we go. I'll get down where I want to be. Yank those forward. The engine is at the switch we got to clear right there. Can't see it. If I do this, you can see it. There it is right there. And then we're just going to back it up. There, the switch is going the other way, except for this first one I got to throw. Should already be in the correct uh, configuration to get us back on track six. We just came from there. Oh, no, we didn't. He was parked on a different track, wasn't he? <laughs> okay, sound like I knew what I was talking about, because this switch here should be wrong. Yeah, it is. Okay. Now we're just going to bag it on up. Let's, uh, let's hook a ride on this thing here. Uh, yeah, we don't need you. We know where they're going. All going to Tidewater, and then they got to be split up when they get there. Here we go. Yep, that, then that, then that. That's correct. Alrighty. Back it on up. Here we go. Slow it down a little bit. Or the independent there. There we go. It's nice. I say I'm pressing the independent, but as I'm sure most of you know, no, I'm not. I mean, that's what you do on a real train, I suppose. From what I've learned from run A, but... Here, I'm just clicking the forwards and backwards arrows. Speed it up or slow it down. So it's applying the necessary brakes and throttle as necessary. Okay, now we're going to clear these frogs here. And not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. And beautiful. There we go. Okay, so that ends Thomas's uh, quick little run. Uh, let me pause. So we're back with Andrew again. Uh, now, Andrew has been working uh, the Tidewater Dock. Uh, he set out cars at Tidewater Ethanol. They needed to. He already got that job done. In fact, they're sitting right in front of him right now on the uh, inbound track. Uh, and then uh, he had four cars to set out at the Dole. And you can see those up there as well. Those are already set. But he still has two more cars to set out at the Diesel. And he's got uh, a bunch of cars, uh, 28 more cars to set out at the Coal Dock. So we're going to have him work the Coal Dock 
and the diesel fuel depot here in Tidewater. Okay, so let's have him apply the handbrake. There we go, decouple. We're going to back him up. We're going to juice it all the way to 10. Why not? 50%. All right, so he's going to have to jump down onto the lower dock area. This should be set up. Of course, I've said that before. Was not right. Okay, so let's go here. Then this is correct. That is correct. And then this is correct, right? And then these should I rarely if ever touch those. Because they lead off map. Okay, so let's just jump back in with uh, what's his name here? Andrew. He's backing it up. Says speed limit is 25 here. Ah, we'll leave it at this. Did get a nice view of the route as we go like this. Once we get out of the yard, we'll uh, do some. You may have noticed I have the shadows set pretty low. See how it's all jaggedy line here? Uh, I find I get better performance that way. So I, uh, I try to get the best performance I can out of this thing. And sometimes that can be difficult. On the rig that I have right now. It's a little jittery here and there to get those micro stutters. Drive a lot of people crazy? Yeah, not, not me, not so much. Why do I have a red here? Why is it single red? Train in block has not cleared this path. Yeah, I'm just going to run right through it. I don't care. What train? I know there's no train down that way. What's it talking about? I don't know. I don't know what it's talking about. We're going to juice. Pass the switch tower. Okay, here comes our switch point. Down to about 10 miles an hour. Zip over this way. Go. It's already set correctly. Now, he's got. I, I, I'm going to have him work the diesel first. Can he get to the diesel off? I know we can go down this way, or do we have to go through the yard here to get to the diesel? I think we got to go through the yard, right? This all just leads right to the dock. Yeah, so we're going to have to go through the yard. This lower yard in order to get there. So he actually does not want to go down the track I had him originally thought I was going to have. Of course, I could just work the coal first while I'm back here. Let's just work the coal first while I'm back here. Why not? There he goes. Now, he should be set up for the coal dock already. Or no, maybe he's not because I had to pull all the cars out. Yeah, I keep saying should be. I really should just stop saying that. Yeah, look, it's already wrong. No, that's not right. And that's not right. Okay, here's the coal that I got to that I gotta meet up with. Okay, this is a pretty decent pace we're going at here. It's within the speed limit. It's right at the speed limit. Look at the pretty trees, a wonderful telephone poles, and of course, the cabins. Let's 
take a look inside once. We haven't done that yet, have we? Look at all the buttons and knobs. That's a lot of buttons and knobs. Oh, wow. I didn't know you get that close. <laughs> I think these are... Uh, yeah, I want to they're interactive. They might be here, too. Uh, depending. Like, if I do this, will it move? Oh, yeah, look. The throttle moves when I do that. It's kind of cool. Okay. You got the back panel here. Look outside. This is cool. But I always prefer the outside view. That's my view. That's my go-to view, this one right here. There's a lower yard there. You see those tankers, box cars parked on the lower yard. You got the upper yard way up there. Thomas spends most of his time. Shouldn't take too long. I just got to back them out, then throw the empties on this uh, siding right here, and then put the. Uh, Next set over the top of the grill there. So can off over the top. Can't see. A lot of sway going on here right now. Okay. Let's bring it down here some. And there we go. You know what I just thought of? I didn't empty those things yet, did I? Let's go look. I'm pretty sure I did not. The ones that are on the grill, don't look at them. They're still full. They still have coal and ice for Okay. So I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to empty those. Uh, and then uh, I'll be back in just a second. Hold on. There we go. Now they're empty. These four here on the end are empty. I also went over and emptied the diesels uh, by going into uh, you know the surveyor. Okay, so now we're going to back these up all the way back to that uh, side track. We're going to hit your right on this last one. Here we go. Going to back these out of here. Put them on that side track, and then we're going to put these next four over the top of the grill here so they can drop their coal into the grill, which then can be loaded onto these barges. Yeah, sure. Here's our TOFC. It's got a big uh, barge here. Comes in and out. And I, did I put a tugboat in the water? I did. Don't see it right now. Is that it right there? Is that that thing right there? I don't know. I don't know. Why am I worried about that right now? I don't know. Pass the scrap metal yard. Now, I've been leaving this road blocked. It's funny because over on River Point, I was so concerned about it, and I make sure I didn't leave it blocked over there. Really, probably should do the same. Here. Probably make it so it's not blocked. You know. So how can these businesses conduct their businesses when I've got train cars pulled across this road right here? They can't get back to the TUMC. And here, they can't get over to Dole. I think that is the Dole dock right some other kind of area. Something, I don't know. All right, we're still backing it out here. Uh, 
pile of junk. Probably a big pile of junk. All right, we're backing this one out. And there's the switch way up there. Junction 573070. Yeah. I just wonder why they number the junk to the uh, junction so high. What's wrong with junction one, junction two, junction three? But they want the big numbers. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Bit here. There we go. Here's the first empty crossing the point. And then the fourth one. Let's lower down. Conductor jump off the back end here. Yard guy. Is that the right name? Yard guy. Uh, now we'll push him forward. Ease up. <laughs> Evidently, I'm, uh, we're banging the cars around too much, telling us to ease up. Don't, uh, you know, don't be in such a rush. What does this sign right here say? It says no clearance. What does that mean? Clearance from what? Telephone? No telephone wires or anything. You know? Just little details that make the route interesting. Okay. Throw these four onto this track to get them out of the way. Rather convenient. I built, uh, I think I mentioned in the last video, I was going to build some yards over where I put all those new industries. Four, five, six industries on the other side near River Point. I did. It looks okay. You'll, eventually, you'll see it what I did. Uh, and then you can uh, and you can laugh or whatever. Whatever you're going to do. Okay, let's back these out. Look at the glistening coal. Listen, does it? Went to a coal mine once in Pennsylvania, and there's lots of different types of coal. Uh, even here in the game, uh, there are lots of different types of coal. I just go with coal, coal, just plain old coal. I don't get into all the different types. Of coal, which is fine, nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. Just saying. Slow that down now. Clear the point. We're going to grab onto this. Go forward. Go forward. There we go. And then we're going to put these next four onto the grate. Starting here with car 832966. Now I know why those numbers are high because there's a lot of uh, hoppers out there that haul coal. A lot of hoppers out there. So there's going to be some big numbers. Although I doubt there's a number one and a number two. They just started large. But in that way, they're like license plates. On cars. Somebody, Of course, somebody may have a number one. Is that legal? Can you have a one number license plate out there or one letter? I don't know. I don't know the rules on that. Up the roof. Ooh. Our bellies are scratching over the top. All right, so we're shoving these back in. This time we're going to clear those uh, two industries so they're not locked in there. Let's 
go on this side so we're not scraping along the building. I thought there's smoke in his bed. Okay, if I turn on the bell, can I hear it? I sure can. He's way too far away. If we get close up to these roads here, we'll uh, give him some toots. I can't hear the bell now. Just barely. Back the way we came. Heard that. So like I said, we'll set these out. We'll make sure those roads are cleared. We'll move back whatever we need to move back to get that done so those trees can still operate. And then, uh, then we're going to go over and we are going to work uh, the uh, Tidewater uh, Diesel. There's two tanks. The last two tanks have been emptied there. So uh, we should uh, pull those back up to the. Okay, here we go back onto the coal dock that dumped the next floor. We're going to go to the end here so I can see when to stop the. Whoa, hey, ho, hey, ho, ho. Okay, uh, go back here so I can see when to stop the train. Here we go. Nice. So down. More. May be ridiculous now. Right there, we're gonna stop right there. So we can do one, two, three, four. This fifth one doesn't quite reach. One, two, three, four. You know, this fifth one looks like it does reach. Uh, yeah, you can't see. Yeah, here you go from this side, from this angle. The fifth one does reach. Why was I saying it could not reach before? You see the little doors underneath there. That's what these things are right here. These are the doors that flip open. So we can even move it up up a little bit. We could unload five at a time. Well, who would have thunk it? There we go. So that one's definitely over the grate. And then we look one, two, three, four. And then this one, the fifth one. It's easily on there. I'm drunk. Okay. So uh, we can do five at a time there. That's nice. We're going to come back here now. We're going to clear these roads here. This car here looks like it's outside the road, so we're going to set the handbrake. We're going to uncouple here. Then we're going to uh, pull backwards. Oh, now let go. There you go. Yeah, thank you, Tagger. You're, you're a great guy. Now, should I just pull them? Should I just pull this one Pass both of them. Yeah, instead of cutting it twice, let's do that. So we'll just pull this one past both. There's the one clear right here. So these trucks can get back here and do the old TOFC thing. And then here is the other one. Right here. There's some company here, which I think I service. I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, so we'll stop it right there. All right. Uh, do I service this company? Yeah. What is this company? I don't know. Will it tell me? It won't. Perfect. Okay, so uh, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> that's something to figure out in the future. Okay, so now we got to go get the two uh, diesels. So we are going to apply. We're going to uncouple. And then we're going to juice it. We're going to get out of here. We're going to throw it. Notch, whatever. 
Okay, here we go. Well, let's not throw a notch whatever yet. Let's at least clear the buildings. There could be people walking around out here, although I'm probably... I used to work at a, a Ford factory where they had a, a train engine come in. Everybody knew pretty much just avoid the tracks. Those engines used to zip in and out. I mean, they weren't doing 16 miles an hour or anything, but you know, they're moving at a pretty good clip. I would gauge about, I don't know, 20, 25 miles an hour. Now we'll move them back up. We're going to move them, move them through the yard in order to get those tanks there. Goes. All right, I'm noticing uh, that we're over time right now. <coughs> Excuse me once again. What we'll do here is we will go over and we will couple up with the uh, diesel. Nice, nice, nice amount of trees in the face there. That was beautiful. Uh, we'll couple up with the uh, diesel tankers and then uh, we'll call it quits. We'll just start with Andrew uh, again on our next uh, video where we'll take those tankers and we'll put them on the inbound track. Let Thomas take care of them. Ditch lights are still flashing. They should be. Quite a bit lower, aren't we here? Well, look at that. Lower than those yards up there. So to get to this upper yard now, the lower yard, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to back it up to here. And then I think we're going to take that second track, not this first one here, but the second track there, I think is what we're going to have to go. Make sure of that fact. Uh, okay. I think this is the track we want to go on. Oh, yeah, it is. So we're going to go here, 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 right? And we're going to run it all the way down to here. Switch that one over. That's correct. And then switch that one over in order to couple up to these tankers right here. Okay, let's go, Andrew. Let's go get it, baby. I cranked it. get into the yard, we'll slow it back down.
Actually, we're going over these points. That's about good right there. We'll keep it at 18. Got a yellow over red. It's not down. Okay, we see these cars on the track here. This is uh, track something or another. Track and then some number. Six, seven. Old engine shop, you can see the engines in there. Your headlights on. I was trying to... And I can see the diesel tanks up there on the left, right around the curve there. Connect up, then we'll call it a night. Till episode 12, of course. Which is going to be just as exciting as episode 11 has been. You really got to kind of be into trains to like videos like this. I love them. I watch other people's videos all the time. Very interesting. Warn the fellas that I'm about to move these cars. Or anyone's hand chopped off or anything. Yeah, we hooked up. And that's going to be about it right there. Okay, so uh, at the beginning of episode 12, what we'll do is we'll have Andrews move these over to the inbound track. And then after Andrews done doing that, we're going to go back and uh, see what Sean's doing. He's the one that took that uh, rather large-ish cut over at uh, River Point. Hope you had fun. Hope you liked, uh, uh, you enjoyed yourself here in Tidewater. Let, let's get an aerial shot. Ooh, look at that. That's nice, huh? Hope you enjoyed yourself in uh, Tidewater. And if you didn't enjoy yourself, well... This just may not be the channel for you.